Hello YouTube, Dutch Bushcraft here. I want to talk to you a bit about uh, destruction videos and fail videos. Because it all comes down to the intended use of a knife. Now an interesting fact for instance is that Battle Horse Knife developed a, a tree frog. I don't have it. It's uh, not available here right now. Or at least not for my wallet but anyway it's a it's a folding knife and when you open it you fixate it with pins and it is as strong as a fixed blade so it's basically a folding fixed blade I think it's a great idea and I can see this uh, uh, even be suitable for batoning there was a discussion on YouTube is it okay to baton with this knife or not my vote was yes, and Battle Horse actually in this conversation agreed, yes, you can do anything you want with this blade as you would do with a fixed blade and it's all, it's all under the warranty of the knife, intended use. Um, of course you have production uh, uh, flaws, yeah? you have design flaws. You have design limitations. This one is a cleaver, not intended to peel potatoes. This one is a small chef's knife. It's more intended for carrots and stuff, whatever, but not for smashing it through thick animal bones. There are, well, all bones are animal or human, of course. Anyway, if you look at the poor man's Colombian knife, it's basically the chef's knife. You can see it has about the same dimensions, the same uh, thickness of the spine, which is rather thin. This one has a wooden handle, uh, half tang, two rivets. This is also the poor man's outdoor knife. Why? Because it has uh, some sort of a sheet. Now they do make nice leather sheets in Colombia. This is not one of them. This is the poor man's knife and the poor man's sheet. This is what they carry. It's a uh, Inca metal J high carbon steel. So yeah, carbon steel of course is a uh, for many people a preferred steel. I like to use stainless for my food prep. But the carbon steel, I found a new method of uh, keeping them nice. And that's coconut oil, pure coconut oil. On room temperature, solid. When you rub it on with your finger, it becomes liquid. Then uh, at room temperature again, it becomes solid again. So it stays on your blade way longer. This one knife has it all over it right now. Talking about this knife and the intended use, of course this is a lightweight knife, staying about halfway. Still you have this guy do a destruction video about this, five episodes in total, and he wasn't able to break it, he did manage to bend it. Uh, by smashing it into a log and putting his full weight on it. Then when he tried to get the knife out, he was uh, using uh, like a, a baton on this part of the handle. So the handle came off, he was able to put the handle back on. It was still useful, not as pretty anymore, but still useful. Not the intended use, but it exceeded expectations good thing to know so i'm very happy these people out there make this destruction video so that i don't have to i would go for the stronger brother uh, this is the hulter force gk or the heavy duty three quarters of a tank still not a complete full tank three quarters of a tank uh, a bit Thicker SK5 carbon steel, 
a very strong blade and they even say it's okay to baton here on the spine or here even with a steel hammer. Uh, when you get one of these knives and uh, you want to take them out in the field you have your uh, intended use. You have your limitations due to design but you can always have the fail factor. That means that your knife has some flaw in it during production. It can be either just a very small crack you can't you cannot even see with the naked eye. It can be uh, the heat uh, treatment gone wrong, yeah, tempering gone wrong, you name it. You cannot see it. The only way to know it is by testing. So whatever knife I take with me out in the field, I test them. And I test them beyond the limit of what I, might, what I would actually do outside in the bush. Because all this talk about, uh, oh, they are so cheap, and they are cheap. Yeah, they are so cheap, if they fail on you, yeah, just get another one. Yeah, that doesn't work if you're in the bush. Amazon doesn't deliver in the bush, or whatever knife manufacturer or shop. They just don't do it. So that's all fine when you're at home. So test a knife at home. Test them beyond the limit you want to use them for in the bush. Because in the bush, it's all you have, your life depends on it. Yeah. So I find a use in these fail videos and destruction videos. Uh, I must say that the fail video, it, I always realize it can be this one specific knife. What's more important to me, if, if you have a knife that uh, has a lot of videos and a lot of reviews and no fail, like this one. Find me a fail video of, of this knife. You won't be able to find one in YouTube and it's been tested and over and over again and we're talking about a 10 euro knife. So that's that's telling something. Yeah. Still test your individual blade before you take it out in the bush. Okay that's it for now. That's Wishcraft out.